caught with guns, they're stealing guns out of residences, and they're shooting at each other, and they're shooting randomly in our communities. It's a big problem. Waterbury's police chief again calling for juvenile crime reform. This comes after a 14 year old boy was shot during a violent night. Several homes were hit by gunfire and police say a number of juveniles are involved here. Channel 3's Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is joining us live right now. He is outside the police department with more on the suspects and also their criminal histories. Dennis. Yeah, Mark and Aaron, Police Chief Fernando Spagnolo, he's saying that some were even just recently released from detention facilities, one as recently as two days ago. Now, this is the third week the city has seen terrible violence involving our city's youth. And, you know, last week we just had a 14-year-old stabbed to death, a 10-year-old shot the week before that. Chief Spagnolo says state leaders, they had to do something. It all started at Cassidy Avenue around 11.45 p.m. A home here, shot multiple times. Then in the next half hour, a home on Whitewood Road would be shot, as well as one here on Angel Drive. This is where a 14-year-old got shot in the back. Police Chief Fernando says each location was home to juveniles with criminal histories. He has recently been arrested on uh, weapons violations, uh, brought to court, uh, sent to detention, and released uh, uh, mid, mid last week back to our community. Another was released from a detention facility just two days ago. Chief Spagnolo says his officers deal with these same groups of juveniles over and over, and they keep committing the same crimes. We need some help. We need some help from the legislators. We need people to recognize and understand that there's kids involved in auto theft, graduating to violent crime, they're getting caught with guns, they're stealing guns out of residences, and they're shooting at each other, and they're shooting randomly in our communities. Senate Republican Minority Leader Kevin Kelly says this issue is because of failed leadership by the governor and Democrats. Republicans have tried to address this in special session, but plan to make it a priority next session in February. We need to do it not only to make sure that victims are safe, but also to begin this process to look at how can we create the pathway for our youth so that they don't go down the criminal road to begin with. Representative Geraldo Reyes is from Waterbury. There's a lot of uneasiness in the, many of these neighborhoods. He too wants something done with juvenile criminals. He says there is work being done right now to address it. Just because people don't see nothing going on right now doesn't mean that meetings are not being held, that very high level discussions are being held. Uh, I know there's a task force directly involved with this. So to tell the people, what I would like to tell the people is, do not believe that this is falling on deaf ears. Chief Spagnuolo also wants better programs for juvenile criminals once they're out of custody, saying there isn't enough of them. Live here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dennis, thank you very much. Also, all